Okay, right, so uh, let me quickly uh, walk you through how we built um, this calculator right here. All right, uh, um, pretty simple. So, uh, first off, um, I'll start from the very top, of course. Okay, we're not using this, so I just have to delete that off and uh, just keep it nice and clean. <coughs> so first, first off, we have uh, we had uh, two variables, right? User question and user answer. User question uh, at first is is an empty variable, right? So the user user question takes the question. So once we type something in here, uh, so it goes into the user question, right? And this both in this both in here is uh, inside the list right so this is the list of all the items in this button and then after that uh, we have a bow it writes uh, to fish out these operators right but I'll talk about that when we, when we get to this level and then this uh, answer of course it's, it's a, like I say it's an empty uh, empty string right uh, empty variable uh, a variable that has an empty string of course so that's where this other um you know is for the answer so uh going into the code right we have um we had a scaffold right we turn the scaffold and safe area widget so we can have you know our our code our ui you know not going outside this uh area so our safe safe area widget and then we have uh, a column right everything aligned in the column and then i expanded widgets into two columns right it expanded widgets into two columns and then from the expanded widgets we had um that's it's column expanded widgets into two containers right so the first container has uh has uh no let me start from the second one the second container has uh Yep, the first expanded widget and then the second expanded widget has a flex of two, which contains these items in here, right? So the flex of two and inside the, the second expanded widget, we have uh, our, our grid, grid, dot, grid view dot builder, right? Which, takes, which has an item count of buttons dot let. So what is buttons dot length? We've already um, buttons dot length. <laughs> we already specified the length of the button here. And uh, in our list, so we did an item item counts to just you know get as as long as the button can be, right? Um, what else? And uh, our cross uh, our cross axis counts is four, right? And then uh, that's one, two, three, four and uh, we had we return our button so what is our button our button has been created in another page here so we had a, a final color final at uh, this and then we call the method and uh, a clip clip arrow rectangle to get the curved and uh, the the border dot, dot radius for um you know the space outside no no for the curve for the curve rather uh, what else? Uh, and then we have we have we had an on tap function because of this gest gesture detector. So an on tap function, right, will lead us straight to what we want. And of course, we specify the color, right, which which we already called up here, uh, and uh, a button text which we already called up here, button text, right. And after that, the color uh yeah that is that so we had to call our button our button class uh where's our button class well let's call our button class in here and then fill out the remaining on top function right uh you can go through the course yeah if you're part of our student right so if you're a student you would have access to this code uh, i'm not done building this but you know so far so good uh the I think I've done the clear button. I've done the delete button. Delete from the right. Um, yep, that is that about that for now. Uh, mm, 
Yep. So uh, you can you can have the the, the, the source, source code will be available and the in the description of this video. But if it's not yet available, those who are part of our students will be the first to get the code, obviously. And uh, if you want to join our academy, feel free to click the link uh, in the description below. See ya.